All right, everybody. So um, once it's fully rebooted, um, you can actually go ahead and um, um, you can, if if you want, you can skip the Moto Blur setup uh, once it gets to Moto Blur by hitting the uh, menu button until you pay attention to the menu that keeps popping up and down, and then in the bottom right hand corner you'll have a little option that says Skip Blur to do whatever you need to do. Um, I did it just so that the phone boots in uh, or sorry loads up, but then um, maybe any necessary drivers that need to be installed to communicate between the computer and so on um, do their thing. So, uh, anyways. Um, uh, I ended up turning the phone back off, and I put in the SIM card and the SD card again because you're going to um, need those in eventually. Um, so now what we're going to do is go ahead and flash the new uh, Clockwork uh, re Clockwork Mod recovery image for your phone, and this is what's going to enable us to load all the custom ROMs, create backups, flash this, flash that, do everything you need to do because now that your bootloader is unlocked, all the methods that you've used before. Um, including rooting, um, are not going to work. Okay, so what we're going to go ahead and do now is boot. Fa uh, well, first of all, you're going to want to download um, Tenfar's new Clockwork Mod Recovery Image for unlocked devices, which will be in the description box below. I'll have a link there for you guys. Um, this is really simple and easy, just like unlocking the bootloader to begin with. So what we're going to go ahead and do is boot back into fast boot mode. So remember power and volume down. Press and hold. Okay, now we're in fast boot. See how it's a little bit different uh, than it said before, right? Oh, booting into fast boot support, blah, 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 blah. Anyways, uh, now that we're there, you're going to want to click the volume up button because that's basically, in this case, the um, enter button. So you're going to want to click up, starting fast boot protocol support. I'm going to go ahead and plug the phone in. Now, I have already downloaded this and put the uh, the um, zip file in the Atrix folder that I created in the C drive. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, right click and go down to extract here. Okay, that should be the new thing. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is right click on it, go down, because you don't want to be typing in that long string name, I mean look at it, that's, that's ridiculous. So you're going to go ahead and go down to rename, and what we're going to do is just rename it recovery okay hit enter and that's that now we're gonna go ahead and go back and open up a command prompt again remember start menu programs accessories command prompt there's other ways to get into the uh, command prompt you know a lot of people hit like the control button and then this and that with whatever I, I never remember any of that crap so um, I just do it the old-fashioned way so again remember you're gonna type in CD space C uh, colon slash slash or sorry colon slash my bad um, atrix boom we're in the folder now you're gonna type uh, fast boot fast boot space uh, what do I type in here again I'm just reading this as I go uh, all right fast boot space flash recovery and then space recovery dot img because it already recognizes it as an image file see how it says disk image there right so uh, dot image you're gonna hit enter Boop. flashing and that's that so now it's all loaded up ready to go all you gotta do is type fast boot reboot Bam! As you can see, the phone, woo, zooming in. As you can see, the phone is now rebooting. It still says unlocked at the top. And just, just for your own reference, um, some people have reported that doing certain flashing is actually removed. It's saying unlocked. Believe me, your phone is not locked up again. If it disappears, your phone is still locked. Um, the only way it's going to um, relock the phone is if you try and flash a stock uh, a stock SBF, you know, a stock ROM, um, and and even then, there's there's certain variables that that have to take place in order for the phone to actually lock itself again. But because we've already unlocked the bootloader, that's like deep embedded in the system, um, so you don't really have to worry about that. 
Um, but anyways, uh, yeah, your phone will most likely be unlocked 99% of the time, even if that ends up disappearing from, uh, from your phone. So, um, there you go, ladies and gentlemen, your phone now has the new, uh, unlocked clockwork, uh, mod recovery from Tenfar. And, um, that's the end of guide part two. Pretty easy, eh? Uh, next thing we're going to do is, um, now flash gingerbread 2.3.4 using our clockwork mod recovery. So, uh, we'll get to that, um, in the next video. Please subscribe rate and comment if you appreciate this and uh, make sure you click on to um, part three and the, which is also the final step to um, uh, screwing with your phone <laughs> all right guys